The jump ball is controlled by Cornell. And the big red go back door, and they find Bayheim with a bunny to start the scoring off. Oh, the rebound taken by McBride, the outlet to Morgan. Morgan fires a shot from three-point land, and Cornell leads nine to nothing over Robert Morris. Uh, great start by Cornell, and uh, now you see why Matt Morgan averages 22 points a game. He is so smooth, so fluid. Here's. Robert Morris in four court left. Matty McConnell coming off the wing over to the left. Side. In from left to right. The Colonials in transition. McConnell sends it over to the left side. Josh Williams misses a reverse put back lay in for Charles Bain. And Robert Morris gets on the board for the first time tonight, almost three minutes into the ball game. Yeah, that's, at least that's one way. If you're not shooting well from the outside or scoring, you need to get on that offensive glass. And I think that's one play area. That backwards, no call. Rebounded. By the big red, here's Beheim with a turnaround jump hook, and he scores again. The ball on the floor, he can score inside, he can score outside. He's just a nice player. Let me correct myself. He has eight of the 11 as Morgan knocked down the others, and though that was a three. Here comes Petaway, diving down low and putting it up and sticking it off the window. Colonials trailing by five, 11 to six. 15.42 to go here in the first half. Clock is spinning. Tracy will inbound from baseline right, gets it to McConnell, catches, shoots, and scores. That one a 16-footer for Matty McConnell. It's Cornell 16. Robert hands it off to Brian Knapp, and he resets Matt Morgan. Morgan cuts over to the left side, goes to Knapp. Knapp cuts down the left lane, shovel shot up and good, and he dived to the floor, got it to go. Cornell leads 18 to 10. Yeah, colonial defense. Uh, this is not a clinic on uh, playing half-court defense. Robert Morris does not look. Big Red leading 20 to 12. Over to the left side, Bayheim off the screen, drives down the middle of the lane, puts up a one-handed push shot and scores. John Williams, John runs down to the left block, gives to Mendy out at the foul line. He works in, sends it back out, and Josh Williams hits one of those patented three-point shots of his, and that brings the Colonials back to within seven. Yeah, the Colonials always look a lot better when Josh Williams is knocking down threes, that's for sure. Bounce pass, Josh Warren off the left elbow. Back in as well. Over to the right side, Julian drives in, kicks out to the right corner, and that's a three-point corner shot for Thurston McCarty. And Matty McConnell had a hand in Morgan's face. He might have nicked that ball, not sure. Here's Bain up top for three. Got it for Robert Morris. Yeah, that was good execution that time by the Colonials as they set the down screen for Charles Bain, and uh, he was able to knock that three down. Up the floor it comes, McBride for Cornell. A little stutter step move. Goes into the corner to Bayheim for the tray, and he drains it. And the big red lead at 32 to 21. You know, I think Bayheim very productive. Bounce pass out front, Chris Coleman in for the first time. Here's a catch and shoot three for Matty McConnell from deep in the right corner. The Colonials get the answer there, trailing 32-24 with 5.09 to play in the first half. And he told pleading with his team, how about we get some stops on the other end here. Here's McBride and Moway in the high post. Facing the bucket, goes to Josh Williams. Three-point shot is good! I think Cornell was in a matchup zone that time, and uh, Colonials took advantage of it. Got Josh Williams wide open, or was a switching man. I'm not quite sure. Right, DeVos out of the corner, runs baseline, sends it to Bayheim. He's open. Three! Oh my got it goodness. to go! Wow. For Cornell. We're coming down to the four-minute mark of the first half. John Williams, step back three. Boom! Got it. Yeah, neither team's putting on a, a defensive clinic here, Chris. A lot of open shots, a lot of easy shots, and that's usually what's missing is defensive intensity. Colonials are going to go zone. Up top, Morgan. Beheim catches, shoots, another three from deep range. Wow. 40 to 32. The Colonials are in that zone. You better find Beheim. Here's the turnover off of Beheim's bounce pass. John Williams to Josh Williams. He goes over backwards. There was contact, no foul, but the ball went in. 40 to 34. Cornell leads. 43 seconds to play. Fans are screaming, how was that not a foul? Yeah, I kind of agree with that, Chris. It was a, it was a pretty good contact there. Now Morgan, a foul on Gordon. Two seconds left, out front. Oh, John Williams from NBA Plus range. Yeah, I told you, he probably should have fouled him. Been a little closer to him, then when he got the ball, hammered him one more time. An incredible shot for John Williams. Just inside the half court circle, let that thing go as he caught it on the inbound play. Cornell has first touch. There goes Beheim on the right. Now, 
Here he comes back door with a reverse layup on a beautiful bounce pass from Steve Julian. And the big rag got the first points of the second half. They lead it 42 to 37. Yeah, Colonials are trying everything. Right, entry pass comes to Yanni Smendi. Back to the basket. He'll spin and hang and fire down in the low post as he dipped that right shoulder and threw it up with the left hand on the bank shot. So to Josh Williams out the left wing side. Bounces to Matty McConnell on the high right. Goes to John Williams. He'll come to the point to Josh Williams. Over to the left side. McConnell shoots from the corner. A three-point rim around. And it goes down, and the Colonials now back to within two. And Colonials now, they need some stops here. They weren't getting a lead in this game. They haven't been in the lead all, I think, uh, maybe. The game, first game of the CIT. Outside, Morgan for three, drained it. Rebounder. Julian's first foul, team foul, number two. Here comes a swooping reverse swinging layup by Josh Williams, almost a hook-in layup. Yeah, Colonials once again, they keep fighting back, trying to cut it, cut into that lead, but every time. John Williams to Josh Williams. Josh hops into the lane, reverse layup, up good. and good, counted, and a foul, according to referee Ron Tybersky. And he will <laughs> whistle that one against Kobe Dixon, see that time, that should have been a foul. Yeah, sure Out was. front it goes to Jack Gordon. Now a three from the left side, it's good. Pass, rolls it to Petaway, he backs in against Dixon, jump hook, Petaway off the mark, no good. Tap down, goes to Manny McConnell though. Robert Morris trying to hang in there, trailing by eight with 12 and a half minutes left to play. Yeah, they got to defend though, Chris, they still haven't got it. Here's Morgan, fakes the pass, now fires over to the right side, and a three-point shot goes in for Jack Gordon, the senior from Dallas. And that one was true. 62-51, Cornell. Now McConnell fakes it home off the left side of the window and scores on the pull-up. Robert Morris down nine, though, with 11.47 to play in the game. Josh Williams catches it, 11 to shoot. Here's Josh moving down low, hanging backpedaling and firing and scoring a tough shot and Josh Williams brings Robert Morris back to within seven points with 11 minutes left yeah and Andy Cole's gonna try that uh, no look past Beheim trying to go mid-range through the key down to the low post to Dixon it's intercepted by Dante Tracy a running three by Josh Williams high left side good Cornell leads it 62 to 58 but here come the Colonials again nobody went after the rebound Tracy found it now it's swatted around and Cornell with it here comes a breakaway and a dunk down at the other end by Kobe Dixon yep. again every time the Colonials get close they make a mistake and Cornell makes them pay with a big basket to keep that uh, goes to Bain right side wide now John Williams on the sideline John drives down middle of the paint stops spins bounces off Bain layup in tough shot Bain got it to go beautiful pass by John Williams and the Colonials trail by 4 66 62 under eight minutes to go away with the ball trailing by four with 730 left in the game here's John Williams at the top of the key steps to the right fires three is good for John Williams and the Colonials are back to within one again with 718 to go inside it now goes to Stephen Julian and the ball is intended for Bayheim stolen by John Williams and Robert Morris has his first lead of the night with 6.53 left here in the ball game, they're up 67-66. Yeah, usually when you come back, it's because your man-to-man -man defense picked up, but the uh, Colonials are doing it with a zone right now. And the big red of Cornell trotting up the floor right to left with the ball. Here's Morgan over to Voss on the right side, left open for three, and the big red reclaimed the lead. Voss wide open, gave it to him unselfishly. Riley Voss now with five points and a big Josh three at the other end for Josh. Wow. No good, Mendy with a rebound, back to the bucket. Two men on him, goes over to Josh in the right corner. He nails another triple. This game's tied, 73 all, 440 remaining. Man, this is an unbelievable game now. It's really, really competitive. A lot of scoring, Chris. Right up at 76 all, 213 to play. Anybody's ball game here in the CIT. There is no tomorrow. And Josh Williams knows it, so he sends another long range three. No Nobody was on him, Jim. Wow. He's having a great second half. This Josh Williams, so aggressive. 
He's trying to carry the Colonials to a victory. In 18 seconds with which to work. Off the floor comes Matt Morgan, one of the sharpest shooters in the NCAA. He'll run in for a two, a floater. It's good, and it's tied at 82 all. 12.6 seconds left. Colonials inbound, 10 seconds to go. John Williams calls timeout with eight seconds. He comes to the right, passes back left to John. John drives down into the lane, stops, pop, scores! 15-footer from the left side of the key. Protects it at the right hip, sends it out, Josh Williams. Colonial swing it to the right side. John Williams drives underneath the backboard, gives it back to Josh. Josh into the lane, outside, McConnell, three! Yes! Johnny McConnell buries a triple from the outside! It's 87-82, Robert Morris in overtime. Yeah, credit that one to Yanis Mendy. He got an offensive rebound. Instead of forcing it up, Chris, he passed it back outside. 19 points for Matty McConnell. Matty McConnell way out near the half-court stripe. Over to the left side, Josh Williams. Back to Matty, to John Williams' right side. John comes off the sideline, goes into the corner, McConnell for three, yes! 90 to 84, Robert Morris leads, McConnell now with 22 points. Josh picking up his dribble, goes to McConnell, McConnell off the pick from Bain, three! <laughs> Matty McConnell with 25 points! Oh my goodness. And the Colonials have jumped out to their biggest lead of the night, they lead by nine, 93 to 84 in overtime with 2-12 remaining. 2-3 zone by the Colonials, but a reverse layup by Gordon, left to right, and a hook over the shoulder got that one to go. Yeah, at least the fourth or fifth time the Colonials get beat on the backdoor cut against their zone. 93-80, who to thunk it? In the first game of the CIT tonight, with one second <laughs> left on the shot clock and 21 seconds left on the game clock, John Williams just lofted a three from the deep left wing. It's good, and the Colonials lead 98-86. Yeah, what a way to end it. I'm not sure Andy Till wanted him to shoot the ball. Robert Morris is going to win in overtime here in the collegeinsider.com tournament tonight. The final score in OT, Robert Morris, 98, Cornell, 89, what a ball game we saw. Well, the second half Colonials do it again. This is like a broken record every game. They, they struggle in the first half. Tonight it was uh, defensive struggling in the first half. Uh, they, the offense was pretty much uh, good the whole game as the three guards were just terrific here tonight.